Nathan, how's the physical recovery been from the first leg? Because obviously plenty of running, you went over the ad boards and took an elbow yeah. as well. Yeah, obviously it's hard, it's a quick turnaround and stuff, playing Friday night and then Monday night, but you just got to do everything right in preparation for the game Monday and all the lads have done that, so hopefully we'll be spotting for tomorrow night. And I suppose the carrot sort of stops you being mentally tired, but what have you had to do to sort of, what's the process has been to pull that physical recovery, ice baths and the like? Yeah, well we stay in the hotel on Friday night, we've done a bit of cryotherapy and stuff and then on Saturday morning travel back. Saturday and then we went to day prep, prepping for the game tomorrow. Everyone's just eating right and recovering right, so should be spot on for tomorrow. And training, I suppose, it's more your set pieces rather than sort of any hard physical work at this stage. Yeah, just a bit of shape and stuff like that. Just get recovering, just getting the legs going again for tomorrow, really. How much confidence can you take from the way that you played with 10 men and restrict the Tranmere to 1 0? Yeah, obviously, Tranmere were a great side and uh, you could tell you could tell they were a great side, but obviously, it was hard when we were playing for 10 men for so long. But, you know, I was really proud of the boys and stuff. Everyone just dug deep and it was, just, it was a good performance, some of that. And adapted to different systems as well. Obviously, you started with the four at the back and then Lee Collins has come on and yeah. you've got the three centre-halves instead. Um, how difficult is that to do, actually, during a game? Well, obviously, it's, it's, you, don't, you don't, don't really want to. But, obviously, we've, we've worked on the shape as a four and stuff like that. But Collins came in and done, done really well. And we've played as a three quite a bit this season as well. So, everything kind of just... Everything slotted in and stuff really, so I thought we'd done really well to be fair. And obviously Carlo came in and done, done really well, so it was good. And he's got the experience to actually just slot straight in in yeah. that situation, hasn't he? Exactly, he is. He's a great player to play with as well. Just talking to you all the time and stuff, he's just learning from every day really. The gaffer was singing your praises after the game. Says you've turned into a man over the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of brought about that change? Is it just experience of regular football? Yeah, definitely, obviously. Even just stuff like living away and stuff like that, it just it go, makes you grow up and stuff like that. And Gaff has been calling with me and stuff like that, working me out every day and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's just I really feel like I've matured and stuff, especially over the last couple of months, and hopefully it's shown him in football. And I suppose defenders have to be naturally cautious anyway, don't they? You, you, you sort of always have to be thinking for the worst. That's what dictates your positioning. Yeah, a million percent. You've always got to think the worst. You, you get told that all your life. to always think the worst. And yeah, so you just got to keep working hard, really. Obviously, you've got that 1 0 deficit to turn around. I suppose the main things are discipline and patience that chances will come. Yeah, a million percent. You've just got to be patient tomorrow, really. Obviously, with the players and stuff we have on the field, I think chances will come and we've just got to, we've just got to stick with it and hopefully, hopefully get started and we get the job done. How much has the last week just shown that actually anyone can be a hero, whether they think they're going to be a main player or not? Yeah, well, exactly. You just look at obviously everything that happened midweek in the Champions League and stuff. It just. Gives you a bit of motivation and shows you can come back and stuff and hopefully we can get it started tomorrow. The pitch is probably a little bit less than ideal. How much though have you all learnt to adapt to that and is it sort of getting a little bit, I suppose, mentally easier because you're more used to playing on, on that surface? Yeah, obviously it, it could be better but it's improved as well and we have, we've a, you need to adapt the way, especially with the way we play and stuff, we want to be popping it and stuff but we sometimes we do need to adapt our game and Hopefully tomorrow night we can we can get that started. And it promises to be a red hot atmosphere as well. How much can the fans, if they build on the numbers that were here for the Exeter game and the atmosphere from Friday, how much can they play a part? Yeah, massively. Obviously Friday night, especially the the spot, and you could even sing in our game. It may, plays a massive part. You know what I mean? We need that tomorrow. We need all that support, and it de it helps you so much. So yeah, we need that. We need that tomorrow. And the feeling in the camp. Obviously you're still in this, but what's it going to take? to emerge victorious? We've just got to keep working hard. We've obviously, as mentioned earlier, you've got to be patient. And we've got, we've got more than enough talent in our team to get the job done tomorrow.